Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony or Project Nova Zero and today I have a very special video for you guys. So we're going to be going to the supercharging station again, but what we're actually going to do is a time lapse video. So when we get to the charging station, I'm going to have my camera set up right here and I'll be recording the screen which will show the rating of the kilowatt rating I'm going to be receiving for my charge from basically a 0% to 100%. So you're going to see how much it tapers off over then and how much energy the actual battery takes. So we're going to see the full kilowatt rating that the battery can hold, you know, theoretically. So anyways, guys, yeah, this isn't a really very, this isn't going to be a very long video in the sense that I'm going to be giving out information, but it's going to be more of an informative video for people who are interested in the actual battery charging speeds. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to be, like, recording me driving, but let's uh, head over to the supercharger. Alrighty, you guys, as you can see, I have landed at the supercharging station in Pinellas Park. There is uh, no one here. If there was anyone, I'd, like, you know, I'd love to show you the car and everything, so this is an empty Tesla lot. So... As you can see, I've only gotten 13% left on my battery. I'm sorry, I wish I could have gotten it closer to 0%, but it's just hard and it's getting late and I don't really want to risk, you know, just roaming around and having someone almost hit me. Anyways, guys, yeah, so the next thing you're going to see is the time lapse of this charging. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna have to say that I'm gonna have to consider this a full battery because I've literally been here for about I think 20 minutes on this 99% five minutes remaining. I don't think it's gonna get up any higher So I'm gonna use all the data I have now to do my analysis on like the actual battery size So as far as far as I'm concerned this 99% is actually a hundred percent It they just don't want to override the battery but it is late, it's 10.55, I'm tired, I'm gonna go into the Wawa's and get a soda, and when I get back to the house, we'll discuss the actual battery capacity of the Standard Range Plus. Also, if you guys are interested, this is the distance that we traveled, and um, that's in mileage, so if you like the miles data, there you go, and Here's the charging, so we gained 208 miles, 3 miles an hour, total cost so far is $12.15, and that's from 13% to technically 99, but I'm considering 100%. Alrighty guys, so what I've noticed is when looking at the video, it's apparent that 13% of battery is about equal to 7 kilowatts. So when we add that to the 45 kilowatts, theoretically, the Tesla Standard Range Plus's battery is around 52 kilowatts. So, I mean, that's awesome. That's really nice. So, I'm sorry, I'm really tired. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little bit informative to you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.